Hi, this is Joe Satriani here to introduce to you the JSA 20 in vintage bursts and also the JSA 5, also in vintage bursts. Look at this finish, it's beautiful. Uh, it took us quite a while to find just the right tones for this color, but I think this thing looks fantastic on stage. Now, these two guitars uh, have some subtle differences and I want to sort of walk you through them. Uh, the important thing is, uh, let's talk about the body itself. Of course, it has the JSA body that we know and well from the beginning of the JSA line. And uh, the top uh, of the JSA 20, of course, is the solid Engelmann spruce top. And that's actually for both guitars. Um, uh, that, of course, creates that beautiful sound. It's very responsive, great tonal sounding wood. When we get to the back and sides, that's where we change it. The JSA 20 has got uh, solid rosewood back and sides, as you can see here and uh, it's a beautiful pattern. And uh, the JSA 5, of course, we uh, go to mahogany, so it's got, a, a, I would say, a warmer sound. I guess that's the way we use mahogany uh, when we're building guitars. If we're looking for something uh, a little bit warmer, that's what we do. The neck on both models is a mahogany neck. Um, and of course, uh, I wanted to just say that, you know, the, the JSA line has got a very comfortable neck for players of electric guitars, I think they'll feel right at home. And you can play way up the neck. The intonation is fantastic. And uh, so you can, you know, that transition from electric guitar to acoustic in the middle of a show, piece of cake because of the way that we've built the neck and the feel of the fretboard. Um, that's a very important point for me. All right, let's talk about the electronics here. In the JSA 20, we've got the acoustic matrix pickup system by Fishman and also the Fishman Aura Pro preamp with presets by me, of course. And of course, it's got an onboard tuner, which is really cool. Uh, this is something that uh, has been a, a new change uh, for us in the JSA line, something I thought after the experience of touring with the guitar, I thought, you know, they built this thing to sound so good, I don't mind putting a little hole up here and sticking some electronics up there. Uh, that was a, my first concern with the original JSA, but I think that we've evolved with the design of the guitar, and so now we've got this unit in here that sounds fantastic. In the JSA 5, the electronics change a little bit. We go with the Fishman Sonicore pickup, and uh, of course we're using the uh, Fishman preamp that's also got an onboard tuner. You need one of those. Um, anyway, uh, tuning machines. We got uh, Chrome Grover tuners right over here, as you can see. They're fantastic, very accurate, got great tension on them. Uh, bridge pins, you know, Ibanez Advantage bridge pins. This, again, you know, when you're changing strings a lot, you want to have things that really work, so that's why we've got those in there. The nut and saddles, tusk, of course. We love the sound of that stuff and how they hold up. The JSA 5 uh, uses an Ibanez Ivorex 2 nut and saddle. A uh, little different sound and uh, something uh, you can think about because the two guitars, you know, do have different kinds of wood for back and side. So that's what we're thinking about there is matching the sound of the nut with the sound of the wood. Uh, the rosette, of course, abalone rosette and uh, body binding uh, you'll find on both models. And uh, what else can I tell you about this stuff? The bridge and the fretboard, ebony bridge and fretboard, of course. Uh, on the JSA 20, I've always liked that look as well as the sound. And uh, on uh, the JSA 5, it's rosewood for both. Um, and I think these things come strung up. So when you get the guitar, you actually get strings too. And of course, we've got the Dario EXP strings, which are the best. So there you have it, the JSA 20 and the JSA 5 in vintage burst. Just look at that.